One of our biggest tenets here at the story is not to waste your time. And the fact is, I think we would probably be wasting your time if we rehashed NBC Nightly News' coverage of impeachment. There are millions of places that you can go out. You can read in-depth coverage on everything that happened today in Washington, C uh, Washington, D.C. But we've also said that there's a way that we can cover something that Nightly News didn't. We're going to do that. I mean, we're going to go all in. And thankfully, tonight we did find a way. This is the candy box in the U.S. Senate. It has been a tradition since 1965. You can't bring food to the Senate floor, so this is really all senators can do to eat during the hours and hours that they sit through this trial. And they can only drink water or milk. Mmm, candy and milk, my favorite. Well, we've heard from Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley that a lot of people are digging into that candy. I probably would too, right? He talked to us on the phone today, gave us a couple more tidbits about what's going on behind the scenes. As you know, hours proceed, you have folks uh, standing up in the back of the room to stretch or, or having to exit briefly for a bathroom break. It is a very long period of time for, for people to sit. Many people are taking uh, detailed notes. I, I know I've taken over 50 pages of, of notes trying to track and understand uh, the arguments being put forward. All right, so it sounds like Senator Merkley is trying to pay pretty close attention, as he should, though that's not really the case with everyone. The New York Times has a sketch artist inside the Senate chamber, and they drew a picture showing Idaho Senator Jim Risch dozing off. wonder if President Trump is calling him sleepy Senator Risch yet. I mean, I kind of get it. You know, they're squeezing 24 hours of arguments across three days. And remember, water and milk only. That means no coffee. Can you imagine that? But Senator Rich doesn't want to be singled out here. Listen, uh, they're keeping a the, the media is keeping a list of uh, of uh, people that uh, they they believe dozed off. And there's I think that list is up to about 20, both Republicans and Democrats. And look, you, you can't deny that. I mean, uh, you sit there for 11 hours or something like that. And, uh, uh, you know, does uh, do you slip off? Maybe, uh, you know, but uh, it is what it is. We're human beings. Yeah, but you were asleep long enough for somebody to draw a picture of you. The trial could continue all the way through January, maybe even into February, and that sounds like a whole lot of nap time. We're going to keep you posted on who falls asleep next.